to present the award and to share a few personal anecdotes about the man in question, please give a rapturous welcome to a gentleman who began his career as a member of Suede and whose own musical scope has broadened considerably since then. This year, he picked up the Producers Award at the Brits for his work with the likes of Tricky, Black Kids, and of course, Duffy, with whom he co-wrote large chunks of Rock Ferry, her monumental debut album. He is, of course, Mr. Bernard Butler. Hello. Um, I'm, thank you for inviting me to do this. It's a real honour. Um, before I break down into tears and uh, blubber, um, I think the most important thing, this man, his music, actually changed my life, which is a very personal thing about music, but it's very genuine in my case. And um, because you're getting restless now, just listen to the music instead. I think. <laughs> Look at that guitar. I mean, that's just the best guitar on the planet. Johnny Marr. I'm the sun and the air of the shining stars. So 1959 Gibson 355, for all you who are interested. Um, thanks very much, Bernard. Thanks to Mojo. It's really nice to be here with a lot of people that I respect and recognise. And um, I think the reason that everybody's ultimately is in this room really is because of songs and I think everybody knows that songs can change your life and uh, can save lives and do all kinds of things and um, in my case it was you know Mott the Hoople's version of All the Young Dudes and um, T-Rex's Metal Guru, Buzzcocks I Don't Mind, uh, the list goes on and on and on I'm sure we've all got those you know those lists so, you know, I just thought it was being a guitar player in a weird band, a weird, and then another weird band, and another weird band, but um, to be given an award um, for being a songwriter is an absolute honor, obviously. And um, the thought that some people have kind of grown up loving songs that I've written is, you know, amazing. Uh, I'm sure a uh, few people in this room know that feeling. And um, obviously I'd like to, thank Bernard Sumner for all the great times and songs in electronic and for putting up with my nuttiness, Bernard. Um, I'd like to thank the other members of the Smiths for all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and um, the guys in Modest Mouse. And I'd like to especially thank Ross and Ryan and Gary Jarman for the last 14 months of writing some songs that I really believe in and I really love. And um, thanks for all the hopefully hundreds of great songs that we're going to write in the future. Thank you very much. It's been nice to see you. Good luck. Yeah, it's, it's an honour. I'm, I'm very, really happy to be here and get it, obviously. And to get it off Bernard was a very nice surprise. And he's, look at him, he's so well turned out as well. I'm filled with pride. <laughs> he did a good job. Um, yeah, it's great. It's, it's, like I said, you know, when I got it, it's an amazing thing to... Uh, be recognised for writing songs because most people know me as a guitar player, you know. And uh, we we do we do stuff other than just you know fiddly 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 stuff. We write some chords occasionally. Yeah, we've got a lot of things in common, and uh, we like writing songs that have very uh, interesting guitar playing. You know, um, it's uh, yeah. I think we managed to do both at the same time, and that's very very gratifying. I think it's it's. Uh, it's a bit of a skill that you have to learn, but once you've sort of uh, once you've discovered it, it's the greatest thing in the world. It never gets any easier, as any songwriter will tell you. It doesn't necessarily get any harder. You just have other things in your life that can maybe distract you. But it's uh, you know once once it's touched you, the, the the that feeling of being you know affected by a song, but especially when you've just written one that um, has done the same kind of thing as the the killer ones have done to you. And there's nothing else like it in the world, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm always personally, I'm, I'm always going to be doing it the rest of my life. I know Bernard's the same. You know, we've got a lot in common. I recognise that as soon as I heard Bernard's guitar playing. I think you, you have to get a way in. I always look for a way in, a good rhythm, something like that. I mean, I always start with rhythms a lot of the time, 
So that's always my way in, finding rhythms and then finding something quite big. Because mm -hmm. when you're working with somebody, I mean, we're both collaborators, you know, it's really important we work with other people and that's an important part of it. And um, it, you have to find something that gives them the nudge. You know, it gives a singer, you know, makes them wake up basically. You know, it can be one big stonking riff or just something quite simple, like a simple riff that, you know, that makes them think, okay, this is the one, this is worth pursuing, mm -hmm. you know, and then, the, and then something, the ball rolls from there. But I think often, you know, the guitar riffs might come at that point, but often they come later, you know. Often yeah. it can put people off, you know, lots of, t lot, it's, it's the measure of the man, definitely, <laughs> or the lady in my case, uh, lots of times. That you know you don't get you don't get put off by something quite with character. That's it. Yeah. You know, because Johnny sings a huge thing. That it's just, it's personality. When you hear it, just like when I, when I hear a voice, um, you know, from William Bell to uh, you know whoever to Morrissey or whatever, I hear a huge personality there. And when I hear Johnny's riffs and his music, his character, his personality. It's like someone talking to you. You know, and that's 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 the model that I took always took that that was you know that was a really important model that other people perhaps didn't you know it, it wasn't as obvious maybe as becoming a singer yourself you know I think with one, one thing with with what me and Bernard do maybe is like almost sometimes you're playing stuff that is almost I don't know whether Bernard has this but if you're playing riffs Blackwell's bowed to you there you see that Chris Blackwell can <laughs> walk across there as many times as he likes <laughs> Any time, um, but uh, I think sometimes I'm playing stuff and it just gets too busy to be a song. It's actually the reverse, maybe, of what you asked the question. I'll be because there's, there's things where I'm just really like riffing out and, and being super melodic, and there's just no way into it. Mm -hmm. And I I just call that just playing. You know, yeah, yeah. I almost have to kind of reel in what I do sometimes to find a way for to for a singer to sort of sit on top of it, really. Yeah. So. Uh, I think the, the the main thing really with me and being a guitar player and writing songs with that, I um, I play guitar the way I do because I'm a songwriter, and that's that's kind of like you know they're they're both they're, they're not mutually exclusive, mm -hmm. you know I have a distinctive way of playing the guitar but it's because I'm trying to play the whole song. That's yeah. why I mentioned all the young dudes because one of the one of my friends were like focusing on guitar on certain solos on Deep Purple records or whatever the hell they were, they were listening mm -hmm. to yeah, yeah. I was li trying to play the whole song yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and of all the young dudes and mm -hmm. I was trying to pay, make it sound like a record you know yeah, yeah. and I, I was what I love about when, oh, when you'd yeah. start learning guitar I'll just say this that uh, you know I started when I when I saw the Smiths I started playing guitar really soon after that mm -hmm. and I learned I learned A, D and E and I, I really lazily stopped then and started trying to write songs, which I think is really important because then the, 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 the thing that re the real breakthrough is when I heard um, um, this, what was one of the breakthroughs? Well, Heaven Knows is a really interesting one because of the invert, this is really crap stuff, but it's no, really, it's really good. Okay, so there's an E there, but there's also <laughs> about 4,000 other ones up here. Yeah. And they're the really important ones and stringing them together, that's when it sounds really melodic and starts to sound like a record. Yeah, yeah. And that's when it sounds like somebody else, not just you strumming an E on an acoustic guitar. Yeah. And when all these, these things, you, 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 you start sticking them together, that's, that's when you start discovering things and it all mm. opens up. Mm. Terrible hot seat question for you, Johnny, but if you had to take a Johnny Marr composition to be your kind of, uh, you know, I'll stand or fall by that, um, it we'll would... allow you to choose another one tomorrow or next yeah, week. Yeah, right yeah. Right now, it would probably be, um, maybe stop me if you think you've heard this one before, because uh, I just, I think it's spirited and it, it has, a, has a feeling to it that I like, which is kind of... Um, euphoric but um, you know with sort of uh, you know heartbreaks coming around the corner and um, and it's uh, a, a beautiful collaboration between me and Morrissey I, I love I think he does what he he did what he does best on that I think his melody is great and the words are great but I like uh, I like the sound of the guitars on it I think it's uh, it's the guitar orchestra and it's uh, I've never not liked it <laughs> 